hello everyone so in today's video we are going to see how to do configuration for spring cloud console and in the last video we see like how to install and configure the console on your machine and in this video we will learn and understand the purpose of using each and every config that we are going to define in application.properties or bootstrap.yml so let's start so basically console provides a key value store uh, that we use to you know storing the configuration that we earlier do in our application properties or any properties we defined on our project class path so the purpose behind doing with console key value is like with console key value you can define a centralized configuration or distributed configuration where if you are going to you know change any value in your project then you need to again rebuild and deploy your project again and again that is time consuming but with console you need to only just define and just create those config in the uh, distributed configuration environment that console provides and you need to only restart your application you don't need to rebuild again and again so configuration is loaded into the spring environment during that special bootstrap phase so with configuration it, it stores all those configuration in a specific folder config that is defined by default and we all using that config folder so multiple uh, instances can be created using the applications name and uh, we can use specific uh, active profile using spring profiling uh, that mimics the spring cloud config okay so how to activate that so basically to get started with console configuration we need to you know first create or start a spring starter project or spring boot project and we need to you know define two dependency in it if you are going to do with uh, spring boot you need to define spring web and there is one console configuration that I have already told you in my previous videos and the second one is okay the second one is console configuration the first one is spring web so that dependency you need to define in your pom.xml and with the group id org.springframework.cloud and the artifact id is spring cloud starter console config I am also going to show you in pom.xml which con dependency I am talking about so here the first dependency you need to define is spring boot starter web and the second one is spring cloud starter console config using these two dependencies you can create your spring boot console project and test your console application into it okay so now coming back to the uh, properties that we define in application dot properties are so as i have already showed you in my palm.xml i am using the latest spring boot version that is 2.7.5 but if you are using 2.4 or before 2.4 then you can either define in bootstrap.yml or bootstrap.properties but coming from 2.4 spring boot version we need to you know define in application.properties if we define the same in bootstrap.properties or yml it will throw as an error okay so for that we need to you know define one properties let me show you that property is spring.config.import okay so that property is you know spring boot 2.4 from this version introduce a new way to you know import the configuration data from the console basically this is now the default way to get the configuration from console and uh, we need to define this property in our application properties here optional basically means to connect to console okay so this will basically connect to the console agent at the default location that we use uh, using our ip address that is localhost and the port number 8500 but if you guys can uh, also remove this optional keyword but by removing this optional prefix this will cause the spring console to fail if it is unable to connect to the console on this host and port so you can also do so by changing the connection properties of console config either using set uh, setting the two properties that i have defined in this application properties file spring cloud console host and spring cloud console port you can also do so and you can remove this optional con uh, prefix uh, from this properties 
but if you want to you know define or add this optional prefix you don't need to add this console host and console port basically this optional prefix that we are adding before console has higher precedence than these two properties and after console colon we can add two more prefixes the one is local host and the one other one is port we can also define so that this uh, in this single line of property spring config import we can define our complete information or property okay so we don't need to you know define two different type of property in this application properties file so coming back uh, basically uh, this console config would you know try to load values from four uh, automatic const context based on the spring cloud console config name that we define in application properties so we define first uh, as you can see is here spring application name that we define the application name of our project and another one i have defined here is spring cloud config name the name of application that i have defined in my console okay so what does this mean is basically this uh, config spring cloud console config name is defaults to the value of spring application name property okay the one i have defined at the start at the top of my application dot properties and using this spring cloud dot console config default context which defaults to the application but if you want to specify the context rather than using the computed ones that is the default uh, information or application name you can add that information to the spring config import statement also you can add using this spring config import optional you know if you are going to define with the same default location of that local host and port then console and then your ip address or your local host colon port and then you can define your context information here okay so basically this will optionally load configuration only from these two contexts that you are defining if you aren't defining these two contexts then it will by default will load the context information from these two configs that you defined spring cloud co console config name and spring cloud console config default context okay so uh, if you want to define in bootstrap file or properties file it's not now needed in the spring boot config data as we need to only define this property or config in application dot properties but if i define the same in bootstrap dot file or bootstrap sorry bootstrap dot property or yml then it will throw me an exception or error uh, let me show you the same uh, first i'm just going to start my console to start the console i'm just going to check first what's my ip address as of now so it's 192.168.1.2 and now i'm just going to start my console using this command i have already showed you the complete procedure to start and install the console in the previous video so you can check this that also so console has been started now i'm just going to verify this by going to the url localhost 8500 slash ui slash dc1 key value okay so console has been started here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create one more property file here that is bootstrap dot properties i'm just going to finish this in application dot properties i'm just going to comment all of these property okay and i'm just going to copy this one only and just going to paste this here or comment this one also and let's try it this by starting okay so it says me we need to you know define the import property okay now i'm just going to uncomment this in bootstrap dot properties and again i'm just going to start this run as spring boot app so same exception it will throw me because it will not allow to read the property from bootstrap dot properties that i have already told you in coming from spring 2.4 version spring boot 2.4 we need to define these property in application dot properties file okay so we need to you know define this property spring config dot import okay so coming back to the other properties that has been useful in consoles are 
so we can you know also customize these property in yml file but if you want to you know do in bootstrap.yml or properties uh, you need to just define two more properties the first one is spring cloud bootstrap and dot enable equal to true or you can do by spring dot config dot use hyphen legacy processing equal to true or including the spring cloud hyphen starter bootstrap then the above values needs to be placed in bootstrap yml instead of application yml so using these properties you need to first define these properties in application yml or application properties and after defining or enabling the bootstrap you can use this properties in bootstrap yml okay so there is one more property or one more you know config that we can use or, or can have the advantage that is config watch so basically the console config watch uh, takes the you know advantage of uh, console to basically add that prefix watch in our properties okay so the config watch makes the blocking console call to uh, check whether or not any config data has been changed in the console okay so rather than changing or rather than uh, you know uh, restarting the application from the server it will just you know refresh that and publish that refresh event okay so there is a specific time timing for the refresh event if you want to delay that timing or if you are changing any config in the console then you can also you know change or you can delay that timing so for that also some configs has been defined so that you can change the frequency of when that config watch is called so to change that there is one property also defined spring cloud console config watch delay you can set the default you can set the frequency the default value where is thousand which is in milliseconds so you can change uh, the delay in the amount of time after that specific change you wants to do in the console so using that any uh, you know change or any relevant configuration uh, you change in your application need not to you know uh, restart so it will you know again uh, refresh that uh, data whenever that event is published so this is basically equivalent to you know calling the refresh actuator endpoint so coming back to uh, going back to some other properties so we can also define in yml i have already told you and we can define or enable the bootstrap properties in the application properties and we can do so and again we can you know use this bootstrap yml or bootstrap properties by enabling these two config or any one of these config uh, there is one more config uh, fail fast so this config uh, is important whenever you are running it at your local machine and uh, you don't want to connect to your you know uh, console and want just want to test at your local machine so it may be convenient in certain circumstances like whenever uh, you are uh, developing at your local machine or whenever your uh, software tester or quality assurance team is testing at their test environment so there are certain test scenarios that don't want to connect to or to console so uh, in that those scenarios it may be convenient to you know use these fail fast config so on those cir certain cir circumstances do not fail if console isn't able well for configuration then there is a config spring dot cloud dot console config fail fast so it will cause the you know configuration to log a warning rather than throw an exception you know that will simply allow the application to continue startup normally but you know if i stop this application let me showcase you control c i have just stopped this console i am just going to reload this it will not start now let's see it at this end okay this hasn't been started yet let me start this again i have enabled all these configuration i'm just going to delete this bootstrap dot properties just going to run this application again okay so it's just throwing me some error <coughs> okay i got it there is one you know 
value that I have defined that hasn't been in console after you know refreshing the console and so that's why it's throwing me an error so I'm just commenting this so just restarting it again now you can see that this application has been started again and you see all all those things are fine now but if I you know start uh, just stop that console from the terminal then it will cause a problem here let's see that so I have just stopped the application now you can see that those exceptions are going to be thrown that you know it's connecting again and again to console and it will just throw you an exception and you are not going to you know test or develop into your local environment whenever console is unavailable so what you can do at that point of time is you can just simply use one configuration that is I'm just going to enable that and I'm just going to start this again okay so it's just throwing me an error config data location okay console check this okay okay I just got this okay let me just comment this out okay import is necessary fail fast true let me just start this again and just stop okay and just stop this again okay I have just changed this to false because I have just done this true let me start this again and I'm just going to start this Spring Boot application again now I'm again going to stop this console and let's see what has been happening in console so you can see that uh, it is you know querying again and again that it is unable to you know connect to that console but it will not throw you an error because I have uh, you know enabled this configuration spring cloud console config fail fast so what it will do that I will do is like whenever you run your local environment or local development to run certain test cases you know it will not fail if console isn't available for configuration so it will just cause uh, this uh, config will cause the configuration module to log a warning rather than you know throwing an exception again and again so this will allow the application to continue startup okay so uh, you can see if you have uh, set this spring cloud bootstrap enable in this so you can also use this so there is one more uh, config that is console retry so if you expect that console agent may you know occasionally be unavailable when your app starts or you know uh, it starts sooner or later when your uh, app starts and you can do one more thing in your config or application properties you can just uh, define this configuration uh, so that after initial startup this uh, retry application will run and uh, whenever your console is up it will uh, you know connect with your console application and then your application can work smoothly so these are the basic configurations that I have defined in my application properties file and using these configurations my you know spring board project run and I just tested the console uh, so okay that's it for today guys thank you